Hello. Well, it's nice to be up here. Uh, I'm not here to talk about a cool new module or a cool new product or even Perl 6, really. Um, I'm not going to say that my company is hiring, although it is. Uh, <laughs> so there I said it. Um, we're awesome. Come work for us. I'm just here to, today to do something utterly frivolous. I'm going to turn a camel into a butterfly and back. OK, that's the premise. Uh, this is a camel. Uh, now, some of you may recognize this very camel as the camel from uh, some of the Just Another Pearl Hacker scripts back when. So it's exactly the same camel. It consists of stars here instead of code. But it's, it's that camel. Now, uh, this is a butterfly. Uh, you won't recognize this, this one, because what I did was take the wonderful Yapsi Europe uh, shirt that uh, PM created, uh, that Patrick created from uh, two years ago, I think, um, and scaled it up because I needed more pixels. So I faked it, I sort of stretched this one out so that the camel and the butterfly now each contains exactly 1,509 pixels. Now the reason for this is that I want to go back and forth between them, basically sort of morphing the pictures. Uh, so I need the same amount of, of pixels. Now this will happen in two steps. The second step is easier to describe. I just want the pixels to sort of move across the screen and go into the other shape. The first step, however, is finding out sort of which pixel in the camel corresponds to which, which pixel in the butterfly, right? So that's a bit of a problem. Uh, what would you do? Well. Here's what I did. I, I just randomly assigned them, which is a very bad idea, and, and then computed a cost. The cost is the sum of the squares of the, all the distances. Uh, let's bring that script up. It's called minimize. So here you see uh, all the, no, you don't see it. Um, let's move this one a little bit. Can I do that? Can I unexpand it? Oh, that's better. Here you see all the coordinates of the, all the 1500 coordinates of the camel. And we resize that one. No, that was resize R. OK. Give it a bit more size. There we go. So 1500 just raw coordinates, and then the butterfly coordinates. And then you assign the weights. Let's go to the bottom here. You, you calculate a total distance, and then what the script ends up doing is just swap them pairwise. Say, OK, maybe these two pairs of pixels weren't perfectly assigned. Let's try to swap them over and see if the total cost goes down. And it does this you know, a couple of million times, times and then it ends up with a, a fairly good match. Now, I could bring in other things here, like genetic programming or things like that, but I just ran the script a bunch of times. Uh, and that turned out to be good enough. There's also temperature in here, which means that by the beginning of the script, it sort of randomly traverses this uh, combining space, uh, not caring if it gets better combinations or worse, just to not get stuck early in sort of a local maximum or minimum or something. So that's the script. Um, let's see. It looks like this when you run it. So the initial cost comes up, and it's in the millions. Right, and then it goes down very quickly, and then you end up with basically a mapping saying, OK, for each coordinate, for each pixel in the camel, here's the corresponding pixel in the butterfly. And the second step is just, uh, I'm going to let this run for a while. The second step is just have the uh, pixel sort of beautifully move across the screen somehow. Now, there also I had a wildly ambitious idea. I, I thought about making each pixel a um, uh, an intelligent agent, sort of, that knew its position in the screen and knew not collide with the other pixels and so on. But uh, I soon, soon realized that I was going all overboard with that idea and, and sort of it was bloatware. So I just had them linearly interpolate. So that's what you'll end up seeing here. Um, by the way, uh, I managed to crash Rakuda with the script. Very proud of it. Uh, now let's have a look. Yeah, I think that's a good, you can zoom it up a bit, I guess. There we go. So, focusing on this one again, camel, and it's breaking apart. Ah! So here we have some kind of middle camel hybrid, camel butterfly hybrid, and then it goes again into the butterfly shape. There we go. So, I, 
I just want to finish off by saying that for many the the Perl 6 development, oh I promised to go back as well didn't I? Uh, for many the Perl 6 development has felt a bit more like this. Camel, can I zoom it out? Camel, camel, ah, cocoon. <laughs> for which I just want to say thank you all for waiting.